Beats coding our telecommunication decoder. Now it looks a lot like our encoder, but it works in reverse. So at this point, a teammate of yours would have been sending a lighter sound signal and it would have been amplitude or frequency modulated. So you would be getting ones and zeros, a digital signal, and you'd be inputting them here in the green. And then once you have that, because we're so used to decimal, Sheets is set up better to handle decimal numbers to convert to back to letters. So we're going to take our digital binary signal, convert it to a decimal, and for completeness, get the nice numbers over here. Uh, also for completeness, make sure that we have our waves looking right. And then all of that we're going to use to then decode that information back into a character, a letter of the alphabet in our case. And then we'll input it down here to our letter with our byte and then join those three letters together into our three letter message. So let's dive in. We got to take the digital signal that's in binary and convert it to decimal. So again, binary, two to the zero, this is the ones column, the twos column, the fours column, the eights, 16, 32, 64, 128. So I'm gonna go encode this. I'm gonna start at the ones column. So this is equal to one times whatever's up here, which in this case is a one, so it's gonna put a one. This is a two, so I'm gonna go ahead, go up there, equals two times what's in this column. And then there's no fours, but for completeness, we might have a four in the future, so this equals four times the number up here. All right, now if you've already encoded, we could keep going that way, or if you already have your encoder, we can go and grab those cells copy they have the same formatting and everything so we're just gonna be able to paste it all right so we have it all broken apart we want to get the summation of all of these numbers so 64 plus 16 is 80 82 plus 1 83 okay so uh, we have a couple options here I'm in code 2 I'm gonna hit equals we could just add up every cell or if you're summing over so many cells, we can use the built-in function that we've sometimes used during labs, S, U, M, sum, and we want the computer to sum all of these cells, so I'm gonna select all of them. That's H12 over to O12, in parentheses, return, 83. And for completeness, we will convert that to binary. So just like the encoder program, decimal to binary, that's DEC for decimal, the number two, BIN for binary. Let's go grab that cell, F12. Oh, it lost that first zero. Again, Unicode eight always shows eight bits. So I'm gonna do comma eight in parentheses, and that way it shows all eight bits, even if there's zeros, if there's eight zeros, you still want to show all eight. All right. Now on the encoder, we did the AM signal. So I'm going to jump down to the FM signal. And eventually we might want to copy and paste. But to show FM one time, or in case you're starting on the decoder program, we want this cell, our FM signal for a zero is low frequency, one for high frequency, so this cell, we want it to be looking at bit seven here. Okay, it's a zero, but it could be a one. So if it's zero, I want the low. If it's not zero, it's gonna be a one and we want the high frequency. So let's get the computer to do that. So I'm in this cell, I'm gonna start with an equal sign. If, we've gotta go tell it now. If H11 equals zero, comma we now you got to put now if this is true you tell it what to do we want it to use the low frequency signal comma and if it's not true well then we know it's a one so we want it to output g16 that high frequency signal in parentheses now we're gonna 
copy and paste this function. So I'm going to go back and lock all of those images because we always want to grab these two cells. So in front of the F, I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the 16, in front of the G, in front of the 16. Then I hit return. I'm going to copy this. And I, just to show you something different, I showed you how to go up to the edit menu. I'm now going to click on all the cells I want to paste it into, but we only want to paste the formula. So I'm going to right click. We want to do a special kind of paste. I'm going to right click, go up to paste special, and we want to paste the formula only. And then let's check it. Okay, that's a zero. It's the low frequency. There's a one, high frequency, low frequency, zero. Yep one high frequency okay that worked now we can do the same thing for am or if you've already done it on your encoder you're welcome to copy and paste you can see some of the power of computational thinking makes it pretty quick and let's just check everything is working okay that now looks good we can now that it's set up the next letter that we send as we put it in it will be making these waves for us all right, let's continue on though. So now we have our letter. We've gotten it to both a digital signal, a decimal number for the ASCII or Unicode 8. So we're all set. So we want to convert that decimal to a character. So again, we're going to code here and the function is going to probably make sense. So I'm in coding under six equal sign. And we want to take that and turn it into a character. So we are actually going to use the function character, which is shortened to the first four letters. Char for character. And now we want to convert the decimal number, because Sheets is set up for the decimal, in parentheses, that's F12. And no surprise, that's our capital S. So we've decoded it. We're going to go down here to byte one. That was our first byte. I'm going to put in capital S. If you want to take a peek here, we use the join function to join those three bytes of information. Now, as you see, we have a working program. So the next time I'm going to go up here and delete the inputs, everything goes to zeros and you will start to input whatever signal comes down. And you can see it's M now. And so if that had been my new byte three, I would put M in and it joins it here. So we have our automated decoder program now.